Loudermail is the first machine learning API natively integrated in the Tick Stack and other databases. You will need the Tick Stack add-on, which is open source. The add-on supports all standard InfluxDB features. Therefore, simply use the Data Explorer to select your metrics data. Let's take a look at data center monitoring. You will see the same top-down data selection here as the original Tick Stack with a few extras. First, select the database, in this case metrics, then select the measurement. We'll use the average load measurement for the CPU load. If you want to, you can choose to filter by individual data centers and hosts listed here. Thirdly, select a field and an aggregation function from the wide choice available. Let's go back and filter by data center AMS1 and by host H1 by simply clicking on the tags available. Choose the time interval that best suits your data and the graph will update automatically. We'll choose previous to fill gaps in the data with the values from the previous time segment. Update the amount of time data you wish to train on. Here we'll select 6 hours. The more data you train on, the more accurate deep learning model will become. Hovering on the one-click ML button will display a summary of selections, including the data source, the aggregation function, the time interval, any filters on selected tags, and the fill value. Clicking on the button will start new machine learning tasks. From the LoudML logo on the toolbar, view the list of machine learning tasks. You will see that a task is running. This works like Autopilot AI for cars, where the AI learns the shape of the other cars and pedestrians. The LoudML machine learning job is learning the shape of the data set we just selected. This learned shape will become the expected normal shape for any future data in the same time series. Click on the job to see the full options available. The Parameters tab includes Seasonality. The Features and Prediction tabs show the settings chosen earlier, as well as some additional features. One feature is the Anomaly drop-down, where you can set the application to raise anomalies if the selected metric becomes too low only, or too high only, or either too low or too high. But what is too high and what is too low? Machine learning learns these values so that you don't need to set them. From the Anomaly tab, threshold values can be overwritten from 0 to 100. Choose whether to annotate anomalies and highlight them in your dashboards here too. Click on the LoudML logo on the toolbar at any time to see the progress of training. We'll fast forward a few minutes to see the results. Awesome! Training is completed and like a fresh university graduate, it's ready to get to work. Let's see the power of machine learning automation in action. Click on the simple shortcut to add the data visualization to a new dashboard. Then from the dashboard, click on the visualization link to display the graph. Remember, this is live data, so the graph will show whether the data is producing the expected range in dark green. Oh, we have an anomaly. The data is too low and the green curve is way outside the normal range. Hover the mouse over the anomaly to display the tooltip. The tooltip tells us the actual data is too low. Values are displayed in the legend which show the data point isn't within the expected range. The graph continues to update and the pattern has returned to normal. If live anomaly detection is no longer needed, it's simple to stop. Right from the LoudML logo on the toolbar, then just click on the stop button. Thanks for watching. Why not try live monitoring with LoudML for yourself? Links in the comments below.